And hello, 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 and welcome back for some more Crusader Kings 2. Fun. Now, the Horse Swords expansion has just been released, so I'm going to play that, and it's going to be awesome. Um, got a custom game set up. I'm going to check this out. Oh, let's, look, let's look at this. Oh, let's look at the new government tab. Oh, look at that nomad. Nomadic. Doesn't look beautiful. Looks fantastic. Anyway, I'm not sure which um, starting date I'm going to do yet. Um... Yeah, basically, the Mongols are, are over here, but I'm not sure how long they'll actually last. To be completely honest, because they do look like they're heavily outnumbered. Um, who are those guys? Cumin, Kagnaev, Kimak. I could always just play as these guys. It probably would be an easy choice to play as Yigats. And the Kitana over there. The Petty Shardim of Karan. Ooh, some, is that Sogdian? Oh, Tacharian, Yingas, Mongol, bunch of other stuff. Okay. You know what? I will probably play as these guys for the moment, and let's get going. Iron Man? No, I don't really want to play Iron Man, so I'm going to have to refix that. No, Iron Man disabled, please. Back to it. Apologies about that. Mmm, getting excited for this. Gonna be good fun. I, w I wouldn't mind playing as the Mongols, but I think they're a little bit too weak at the moment to really consider that. Though, I, th you know what? I'll probably get another game going, giving them a crack anyway, so. Oh, yeah, next. Uh, welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Yep. Um, you yeah, culture effects. Nomads are not very interested in their holdings, not only in more grazing land for their sheep and horses. Gameplay centers around the population of the tribe and the manpower provides empty holding slots in open terrain increases the maximum population. While nomads can have normal vassals, they are mostly concerned with managing the other few but powerful major clans of the tribe. Can hold all, blah 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 blah. Can inherit priests, temple holders can inherit tiles, people, mana chain men can take up to three concubines, there is, and can exist no religious head. Ah, oh, so these guys are also Zoastrian. Well, mana chain, Zoastrian. They are nomadic culture. Um, look at my son's badass haircut, that's, that's pretty cool. I uh, can't say much of my haircut, but I am loving the new portraits. Um, how many troops do I have? Oh, that's right, I don't have any troops because it's all dependent on this population over here. Population potentially get to 13,000. How many do we get in a month? Monthly is 93. That's pretty good. Um, manpower of 925 currently. So, that's how that's going. Clans, clans, okay. We have several clans. Um, at the, well, sorry, we've got three clans, including myself. Um, now this is, this is very much me learning how to play this game, because I really have no idea at the moment. Um, can we form a blood oath with this guy? Swearing a blood oath will make the user clan a staunch ally for as long as both rule as well. He won't do it, will he? I don't have much gold at the moment. I need more. Can I really afford to spend that on him? Probably not. Shouldn't probably declare a feud against him. That wouldn't be very smart. Can we appoint him a commander? What's his military stats like? They are nothing special. Um, what about this guy? Will he take a blood feud? Uh, not a blood feud, a blood oath. Um, not too keen the prospect, it would seem. Um, split, I can split that clan if I want to, but I'll avoid that because they probably won't like it. My tech levels are very low, it could be said. Um, what's going on here? Most, those guys don't really like me. They think I'm a bit of a twat. Um, what about minor titles? Ooh, this is designated region, Yagabu, Ishbad. That's, that's a pretty cool little feature. I like that. Pick ambition. The ambition is... Um, I probably should get married, shouldn't I? Um, who can I get an alliance with? <coughs> um, I might get an alliance with this particular guy, because it will get me an alliance of that calm, and he'll probably like me more as a result. Doesn't get me a massive amount, but it might improve relations with him. So, we're also going to... Ah, oh, but we're already offering that. I'm just trying to get used to the features at the moment. Improve clan settlement. Train warriors, suppress revolts. Yep, and we're also Zoastrian as well, aren't we? So we've got to remember that. Um, what provinces do I directly hold? Oh, wait a second, this is the new music as well. Sounds pretty cool. Um, I can build stuff in my own area if I want to. Clan settlement 2, horse breeder. That will give me more horse archers. Cattle pens. 
I'm just getting used to it. Um, what about direct vassals? Okay. Okay, I rule all this territory over here. And these guys ruled that over there. So as a result, <coughs> we can declare a war on this guy immediately. We can make him a tributary, or we can also um, subordination, invasion. Can we use the, can we use the subjugations? Can, mm, I don't care. <coughs> mm, apologies. Um, let me think. Something about suzerain of oh, blah 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 blah. Um, I'm trying to figure out how do we actually raise troops with this new system. Oh, what's it? Oh, become the... Uh, ah, yes, so Astrians. Okay, abandon heresy. No, I won't be doing that. Promote a commander. That will cost me a bit of prestige and money. Choose a war horse. Oh, that seems like some guy should do. Hold war games as well. Also pretty cool. Click to choose plot. Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed. Um, I'm actually not entirely sure how I'm supposed to... Oh, I'm supposed to be getting married, so I'll do that. That'll get me a bit of prestige once it's done. Okay, are these my current troops here? Oh, I think they're actually my current troops over there. <coughs> Ugh. Give him the flank. Give this guy the other flank. Dig in these new portraits, and we're going to start playing. We'll have it going about three speed for the moment, just until I get the hang of things. Um, I will take the prestige over the gold. What's his uh, opinion of me now? It's better. It's a lot better. Now, I feel the ambition get married. We've also got a faction already. Can't say I'm surprised. And it's against him. So, you know, he's being a bit of a dick. Um, we're going to try to get a former blood oath with him. And they still won't accept it. Ugh. Being stubborn. Award him that honorary title. Hopefully we can get one out of him. He's being stubborn. Won't give me a blood feud. Now we want to increase. Oh wait a second! You go to the military and your horde. That's that's right now. I remember. Um, that will increase that projected monthly cost. How much money am I actually making? Is zero point three eight? I'm actually not. I'm not actually making that much at the moment. That won't cost a massive amount. I can get away with it. So. Oh, what about this one? That one will cost a bit more. Like cavalry special units. How much will... It will cost me prestige as well. Some are more expensive than others. But that will get me 250 horses. So, I am going to purchase them. Oh, should I build maybe a little bit more? Yep. That took up a lot of prestige as well. Good. Um, that'll take time to get up to a sufficient standard. Okay, I'm starting to get a hang of this. Wait a second, one of my clans has declared some type of war. Um, yeah, I'll accept. I'm gonna get some action done. That guy's got horrible stats. Horrible military stats, indeed. What if we toggle to go raiding this territory? Is there much to get from there? <coughs> Not really. But we're going to toggle looter anyway, and we're going to prepare to move up over there. Interesting system. It's going to take some getting used to, but... The horde is growing. It is getting bigger. We can potentially get up to... Manpower can go higher. Monthly manpower growth of 19. That's alright. Are you trying to blackmail the shit out of me already? I will not be blackmailed, sir. What are you trying to do? You have shown yourself weak and speak for all the clans. When I say that it is time to hand over the bridal someone, no. I say piss off, you muppet. Now, we're going to undo that. How many troops has he got? We're going to put this guy to the sword already. We should be able to. That guy's got pretty terrible military stats. Can we actually promote a commander? That would seem pretty... It would seem like the logical choice. Promote a commander. What's he like? Is he much better? Where this guy? What's his... Your cousin? Useless when it comes to military? 
Apologies if I'm pausing a lot, I'm not getting much time played at the moment. It should get better. He's got seven, so he's slightly better. Hmm. Okay, I thought I'd actually promote a commander. How does this work? What is going on? This guy's got seven. He's nothing special either. Appoint commander. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. I'm starting to get a, get, starting to get a hold of it. Hold of it. Hang of it. Um, that'll have to do for the moment. We're going to move in this guy and hopefully put him to the sword. We do have a lot more troops in him. Going to increase speed. Ah, it's getting bigger now. How much money am I making? 0 0.58. We also Zoastrian as well. What about these guys? What are they? They are Tengri. That's interesting. They're getting there. We're not going to catch him, so we're going to have to push over like that. 22nd of October, 26th. I'm going to catch him in the field. This should give me some good prestige if I win this war as well. How's the war going? And he's kicking the crap out of him. Ooh, like that little thing there. Can we ransom the guy? Ransom prisoner. Ten gold. Is he actually retreating to that territory? He is. So. Is he surrendering? No, I will not take a white piece. I will take total victory against your forces. Thank you very much. push over like that. Is he going to get away? 9th of February. No, he's not going to get away. I'm going to catch him pretty easily. Three titles can be created. Oh, I can create three titles, can I? 100%. Well, I've absolutely crushed his armies. Enforced demands. Um, I only get 50 prestige. It's a bit stiff. thought I would have got a bit more than that. I will also release him immediately from prison because I want to get him on side. I don't want to have difficulties with him. Now, what does he think of me now? Now, I want to create a form of blood oath. He won't form a blood oath at all. I'm trying with this guy, I really am. Um, what about this guy? Form a blood oath. Yeah, he'll form a blood oath with me. Most likely. Now, we can either start raiding, or we can just attack. Now, I think we're going to go raiding these territories over here. He should have how many troops... 793. Wow, he's got more than I thought he would. What about this guy? 783. What about this guy? <laughs> Just gonna check them all. Okay, I'm gonna go raiding that territory over there. Hopefully I can get some money. It might take him a while to get over there, but he'll get over there. He'll get it done. Do do got the first year done in the game. Um yes. What's this? Special minor titles grantable. Wait a second, I need a new Chancellor. Yeah, I'll make him the Chancellor. He'll do. Title loss in succession. The full cognito. Ah, oh, that's right. This whole dynamic mercenaries thing we've got going on. Now, we're married to this bird. Really digging the new portraits. What does this look like during winter? Ah, oh, that looks cool as. I'm loving the new map edition. The full 25 provinces. I think they said it was 25 provinces, so it's a decent addition. Oh, wait a second. They're over there, aren't they? Wow, we should really go attack them then. We might go raid their territory while we're at it as well. I completely... F I didn't actually realize they're on my territory then. So, that's my derp. Jeez, his flank's got 500 troops. That's a lot. Um... Take the deceitful trait. I thought I offered to form a blood oath with him. No, I can't get one. Why not? What's the reason behind that? Can we award him an honorary title? Let's award him that. Let's see, will he will you do a blood oath with me yet? Yes, he will form a blood oath. Yes, I've got a blood oath now. Good. Got good relations with that guy. Should have married his sister. That would have been a much better choice. Wait a second. What's going on here? 
Ochukan Conquest of Gogol. Ah, okay, they're the wrong troops. Do I have an alliance with them? What's going on here? No idea, okay. I'm just confused, so I'm gonna go back over here. We shall move and we shall attack. Attack. The only problem is when if the I, I don't know how I don't know how the Mongol hordes work if they've changed at all since the previous version they may have um, Karkolid as well I'm gonna have to expand eventually I'll probably attack these truckers over here how many troops they got two hundred oh jeez I'm gonna easily put them to the sword won't even be difficult um, we'll do that later we'll go do a bit of raiding for the moment. How's my manpower building up? It is building up. It is getting stronger. And my gold's not massive, but it's getting bigger. Population's getting bigger and bigger as well. Hopefully raiding will get me a bit of income. I'll have to wait and see, though. Are they declaring any wars? Well, I suppose we're supposed to be helping those guys out. I don't know why we're helping them out, but apparently we are. Um, Why are we helping... I don't know why we're actually helping them out. They're about to raid your other. No, Urbo. This is what I'm gonna call Urbo. Yeah, sounds good. We should be able to raid this pretty successfully. How much income is there there? There is a bit, so we can get a bit of loot. We'll, we'll raid there next as well. I won't even hesitate, we're just gonna do it. We'll just keep moving along. Just keep attacking. The more loot we can get, the better. We can get a bit more from there, I think. Should we move into this province? I think I might, actually. It's called Arsi. Well, I can make a lot of jokes about that, but I think I'm going to pass. Got a fair bit of gold pretty quickly, then. So that's alright, I'm gonna take that. Oh, there's a decent amount there. Might take a bit of time to acquire, but we'll get it done. This guy is of... He's also Buddhist. Oh, it's Iranian. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We're not gonna probably... <coughs> not gonna stay there and siege the place, because that'll take too long. We'll just, busy, we'll just get busy and raid the province. You know what, they'll probably do for that for the moment. So we're going to send these blokes back over here. The Ottoman Congress, uh... He lost, apparently. Oh, shit happens, I guess. I might attack the Yangzi. They're, they're from the Kitan clan as well. Ah, oh, stop being... You're just being annoying. Why is she being annoying? Um, if we accept, we'll be part of the Kimak Conquest of Ket. You know what? I'm actually not going to become involved. Because I've n n I just don't care. In pure honesty. Um. We might attack the Ungzi, I think. Another year done. Another year done. We're going to send these guys over here. Actually, no, we're not going to send them over there. We're just going to attack. We're going to subjugate. Nomads can subjugate non-nomadic realms. Once in the, is he actually a Khan? No, he's a Count. How does, the hell does that work? Well, we might attack this guy then. Invasion of Yuga. Oh, he's an ally. How isn't he an ally? He actually is an ally. Oh, wait a second. I think I married my... Married his missus. Um, how many troops does this guy have then, if that's the case? He has got 250, so he's basically screwed already. Um, we need some to educate, uh, my child. Eh, why not, I'll just do it. I'll see what I can do with him. Um, so if we attack this territory, like so, we should be able to beat him. Who's he, who is he allied with though? Oh, he's a tributary. I didn't realise he was a tributary of my clan. What about this guy? Where's he got? He's, he's got a few troops. Who's he allied with? I didn't actually realize they were a tributary. 
but they are. They've got a nomadic vassal. These guys are tributary as well. They're also a tributary. Okay. Okay. So that makes sense. Um, that's the case. What about Tabol? Can we actually attack Tabol? We can. We can just use the invasion. If our population is getting too large, we may invade another realm to seize their pasture lands. If successful, all occupied territory will be seized and all vassals will become our vassals. Okay, just attack the Kakalods because they're right there. Hmm, interesting. Well, anyway, that'll do for the moment. And I hope you enjoyed yourselves, and if you enjoyed, subscribe, and as always, bam bam.